Well, the standard model is precisely what classifies all these particles which, uh, from which we can construct the whole world. Actually, the standard model contains essentially all these quarks, these electrons that constitute the atoms, all their other elementary particles that one can construct out of them or obtain out of them from collisions. And uh, it contains, describes the force, which are, we choose them, and that is essentially the recipe, because the forces are also uh, transmitted by some element par three particles, some which have mass, some which don't have mass, photon has no mass, those which gives the so-called weak interaction give mass, and essentially uh, there are three kinds of interaction which are included in the standard model. The electromagnetic interaction, the weak interaction which are responsible in particular for the disintegration uh, radioactive decay. And uh, these two were united in a theory that make a very deep use of our theory which was done in a quite general frame. And the standard model contains, in addition, strong interaction, which also are interaction between objects which are inside the nucleus, but which are responsible for essentially the cohesion of these nuclei. These are the strong interaction, which are not explained by our theory, but by something different, which actually is essentially related to our theory by something which is called, let's say, duality. Let's say it's the opposite. Now, the opposite of something is not necessarily very distinct, so that it is. So these are the three types of interaction which form these particles that we know today that are hold together and getting a mass now with this um, this boson that was discovered, or rather by the sea of them, which gives this sea uh, which permeates the universe. And, uh, and there is another uh, interaction which we feel every day, which is gravitation, which is what, why we uh, let an object fall and it falls, and why the planets turn around the Earth and why everything like that works. And that is also a theory, but for the moment, it is not included in the standard model. It is something apart. We know it very well. It's the first thing that was known. It was redeveloped by Einstein and generalized by Einstein. It's called, it's a bad name, but it's called general relativity. That was in the beginning of the 20th century. And um, so that is very well known, but it has its difficulties. And that, uh, I don't know if you want to enter into that, that's more complicated.